You know, Laban, a lot of people don't realize this, but that opening yeah. was recorded during one of our first programs in the early 1800s. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that yes. is some actual footage of one of our first shows. Right. Before they even had motion pictures, you <laughs> fool. Hi, everybody. I'm Laban Johnson. Larry Bly here. And we are delighted to be back for season, season number, number six. six. Can Absolutely. you believe it? Six years of this six nonsense, years. and the station still owns us just barely. Right. But uh, they don't own us by much. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're real glad to be back and to have all of you join us again for another season of Cooking Cheap shows. And we got some real cheap thrills this year. <laughs> oh, we really do. We have a lot of neat things, but there is one thing that we don't have this year. I know. It's real sad. We don't have the Cook Sisters this year. Boo-hoo. They have left. Us. Where are the old girls? Well, those elderly ladies of a certain age have yes. gotten on a tramp steamer. How oh. appropriate! <laughs> <laughs> Tramps that they were, <laughs> and they've left to go on a world around the world tour. Oh, mm -hmm. well, 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 will we be hearing? From well, them they or? said that if they found any, you know, neat recipes, that they would let us know. Now we haven't heard from them yet, and I don't know <laughs> exactly what they're. Well, with a little luck, was. maybe we'll hear from maybe them before the end will. of the show. Uh, because our lovely secretary miss witch uh is, is going to be flying still here. here so yeah. we will have her around this year and i know everybody is delighted to know that ms witch mm -hmm. so anyway i guess uh, we we have some excitement here we today do. we're going to be what what is the name of this oh, well this is the concoct. sweet thing sweet sweet <laughs> oh yeah for all you sweet things out there and how appropriate because we're going to be do we don't do very many dessert items we really don't or candies mm -hmm. or things of that for one thing i'm diabetic and he's also a mess. Uh -huh. <laughs> and because of those two things alone, we don't do much sweet stuff. But on this a lot show. of a lot of the sweethearts out there, the kind and gentle people, wrote to us last year and said, "Why don't you do some candy and dessert?" Cool. So we're going to do candy today. People stopped me on the parking lot on the way in here and said, "When are you going to do candy, Lair?" And no, I said, "No, no, 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 that." That's Oh, that's, that's something else. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well anyway, we're going to do candy right now. So let's go on over. Let's go do. over here and see. A snappy can do moving it. shot here, and uh, go into our thing and get the old stoves going. Well, the first thing I'm going to do some uh, black walnut brittle. You've heard of peanut brittle? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to do black walnut brittle. Didn't Santana do a kind of black <laughs> walnut, walnut brittle or something like that? Some old Let rock song it. that we recall from. Days. Ah! What's wrong? Oh, well, it's always a horrible experience to open up this thing. He's at it again. He's just gotten on the set, and already he's at Well, fits. here are the black walnuts, but I don't need them yet, and we only can afford one measuring cup, so... Hey, the stove works. That's encouraging. Oh, that's... I had forgotten to try that before we got oh, on. Oh, goodness. And uh, for this, uh, you're going to have to have... This is a real sweetie, so it's got a lot of sugar in it. Two cups of sugar. I'm just going to so, wander around while you're starting to here's see what all's here. Here's the two cups of sugar, a half a cup of corn syrup. This is your old standby corn syrup. And you're also going to have to have a third of a cup of water to start out on this. Now, the secret to all of this candy we're going to do today and the recipes is that you have to have a candy thermometer. Now, you know, there are some people that can do it the old way. Now, you can do it the old way, and the old way with both of these recipes is called the soft ball stage. 
Now, one time I got, to, I was trying it that way, and I ran it too long, and it, and it went to the baseball stage. No one could eat it. It was a mess. But no, but the softball stage is when you when you have just a glass of ordinary water, right? And you drop little drops down in there, and when it gets to a softball stage, that's where it's supposed to be. The problem is you can spend all evening playing with your candy. Sure, and it's so much easier no to buy a, a candy a thermometer. thermometer. They're not terribly expensive. And then you are assured of getting uh, a mess. A mess? No, you're assured of getting the right thing. This, this butter has gotten a little soft here. There's three tablespoons of butter there. Who is responsible, by the way, Laban, for this uh, patriotic uh, pot holder that we have? Oh, I, goodness, I don't know. Isn't this beautiful? I it's didn't make that one. Did you do this? No. You didn't do that? No, I didn't do that. I don't believe I could make one like that because that's... That's knitted. Well, it's real lovely, and whoever is responsible, we thank you. But people send this stuff from all over. Uh -huh. And you need a little bit of salt in here. And incidentally, you might want to take careful care to take down the recipes because we have a little new recipe policy this year, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. If you want the recipe, we have a new address, and uh, you also uh, have to send us a self-addressed stamped envelope. Otherwise, we get real snappy, and we don't return anything That's to you. right. Nothing. So, You're on your own. We'll have that up after a while, so you might want to save you the cost of a high-priced postage stamp mm. by uh, just simply fooling around and writing it down as we go. Now, this mixture that I have in here, let me review. It's two cups of sugar, a half a cup of corn syrup, uh, three tablespoons full of butter, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And actually, I'm using corn, corn oil margarine instead of butter. Cause it's coin oil. Coin oil. Boy, my mouth is tangled up today. Anyway, and this is going to come to a full rolling boil in a few minutes, and that's when you put your candy thermometer in it. But you have to make sure that you use a big enough pot when you're doing this so that you can get a real good rolling boil. Otherwise, it won't work. This is not a recipe where you simmer. You have to go full tilt with it. We have tried both of these recipes in... in department store right and uh, I, I just can't wait till the end of this recipe when Laban tries to get this off the tray because the first time at one of our local department stores it froze up on him and he whacked the Dickens out of it and they're still picking brittle out of <laughs> furniture <laughs> all over the store <laughs> little children were running around with brittle in their eyes it was incredible and now it's beginning to boil, and it will do it really, really fast. There you go. When I don't watch it, it won't do it. Well, <laughs> now I've adjusted this already, so it's going. You have to make sure that your thermometer does not touch, touch the bottom of the, the pan. But there it is, Dr. Bly, and that's the basis of the walnut brittle. Why don't you show them what you're going to do? I'm going to do a very simple sour cream candy, and this is so good. Mm. This was so good that oh, even after doing it all afternoon and evening one day at that store, I went home and did it the next day again for some friends. And they actually live to tell it. It's incredible. Sour cream candy. Very simple. You start out with uh, two tablespoons of butter. All right. Good heavens, it just exploded. Into that, we're going to put a half a cup of sour cream. Can I use, oh, I already have it. Excuse me. Half a cup of sour cream. I got so good at it that day that I didn't even measure it out anymore. It's been a while since I've done it, so I'll just... Hang on just a second. While you're doing that, I'm buttering my pan. I'm going to take that out now that I've melted it. I'm going to take <laughs> it out of there for just a little bit. Now we're going to put that back on. And the first thing we're going to do is put the sour cream in here. And we're also going to take some brown sugar. You can use either light or dark brown sugar. And the day that we were out there, I was using granulated brown sugar. But you know, you can get almost twice as much of it, if it and it's more compacted in these, these large bags. And what we want to do is uh, two cups of brown sugar. This has a lot of sugar in it, but that's what candy is all about. And be very careful when you're measuring it out that you don't drop any anywhere. Pay no attention. Okay, well, I'll put that on there. 
two cups of brown sugar, half a cup of sour cream, and we're going to start mixing that stuff. The granulated stuff works very, very well, but this will do just as well. Now, as you can see, that's mixing up into a nice glump. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Isn't that just lovely? Now what we're going to do is we're going to boil that. That's all you do for right now. We're going to boil that, and we've got to boil it into the softball stage. The softball stage, mm -hmm. like mine is baseball and, yeah. and softball, and you got a kickball. Chevrolet. So now what we got to do is bring the heat up on that. We'll get that boiling. I don't want to get it going too fast right away because he has the only thermometer that we that we own together, and, uh, and so I got to wait till he gets finished, and then we'll we'll start testing this one, to see. You have to have a lot of patience with candy. You really do, because it takes forever. Now I'm going to add a cup of black walnuts. These are not English walnuts. These are real black walnuts. Kind of like you get out around the tree, right. out back. Mm -hmm. Except somebody else had to go through the misery of cracking it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you have never tried to crack a black walnut, boys and girls, do you have a surprise in store for you? They are nasty. They turn your hands green and yellow for the rest of your life. They're real tough. I used to do that. I used to have to do that at home on the farm. Uh huh. And it does. It turns it turns your fingers totally brown. And people used to think at school there was something wrong with me. My granddaddy Jess Bond. Yeah. Used to drive over them with a car. Yeah, you drive over them with a car or tractor, and get the outer hu hull off of them. Mm -hmm. And then you have to dry that. Right. And then you got to crack those things. They're not worth it. They're worth five dollars a pound or whatever you got to pay for them. If you've ever done it yourself, you know why. And then to top it all off, you get finished doing it, and you crack down on one of those pieces of whatever. <laughs> get your head out of well, my I'm, shop. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm fanning my people. thermometer so I can see <laughs> what the temperature His is. His thermometer is frosted up on We need help us here to see. <laughs> well, I wish you'd my hurry up. I'm afraid rising. this is going to go past the appropriate stage. Oh, you know it won't. Oh. But, you know, it's... You just think it's not ever going to do anything, and then all of a sudden the temperature I don't think will it start is. going up on it. I don't think it is. Oh, that's too far. Let me turn it down. This is the exciting portion of the program. Now it's beginning to go. Do you think I ought to leave this boiling on here like crazy? Yeah, because I don't think it's going to. You don't think it's going to go uh -huh. over? Let me cut it down just a little bit. But my temperature is rising. <laughs> I'm up to, I'm beyond the soft boil. See, I have to go to the hard rock. Of course, stage. it was doing that before he got here. His temperature I have to was go rising to, when I, he came in. I have to go to hard rock. Do you really? You go to soft ball. Well, but uh, mine's going, going right on up. Do you have to take it to the lead zeppelin stage oh, or what? No. <laughs> the lead zeppelins, they're, you the know, they got back The water's a little together. tepid this year. I you know. Uh, the it's not is. cold. Well, it's all that water we've had in the around here and bad weather and everything's tainted the well. This sure is exciting, isn't it, boys mm -hmm. and girls? We get finished with this, we're going to drop this on wax paper and it'll be like little chocolate drops. Oh. And you'll be able to pick it off of there. The kids Well, I'm not going to drop you? mine on wax paper. I'm oh, no, you're going to put yours a in a pan over there. Now, my temperature is going on up. It's getting near the soft crack stage. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. Uh, I will right now. These candies are both delicious. We have testimony one, from hundreds of right. people that can tell you both it's true. Both of these would make lovely gifts if uh, you're into giving things to people for that kind of stuff. I'm and not. this has a really unique flavor to it with the black walnuts as opposed to the English, English walnuts. English walnuts, which you can hardly taste sometimes. Because the black walnuts have a real strong... Oof, good this stuff is heating me up. Now, just before... Uh, or just as soon as you take it off the heat, you add to my recipe a teaspoon of vanilla. And of course, we're using the pure vanilla extract. Please use pure vanilla extract and do not use that Mexican vanilla that a lot of places are pushing now because it can get you in a powerful lot of trouble. Something ain't natural about it. Mm -hmm. It can it's ruin bad for you for all times. You know, it really is. I have some friends that came back with that stuff, come back with gallons of it. Now, you know, when you get a, <laughs> when you get a gallon of vanilla for $3.40, there's got to be something wrong with it. Okay, Dr. I'm not Bly. even sure that I've seen them around lately. I don't know. Anyway, what? Here. Can I have it? Uh-huh. How about, 
I'm afraid it's going to be hot and I'm going to drop it. Yep. Well, do I have to <laughs> do I have to shake it to get it back down again? I or? beg your pardon. Do does it have? Uh, to? Yes. No, I don't think <laughs> I better have. Well, it's. Put that I'm not too excited there. about dealing with it after it's been over there for. You don't want to put these all the way down on the bottom of these things, so you have to adjust them. Now I have stirred in my vanilla. So what am I supposed to be up to? Your ears. Two hundred thirty-eight degrees. <laughs> 238 degrees. Now, I am now going to pour this out into the pan, so. I think it's already past that, but I'm not sure. No, well, did you shake it down? No, I didn't shake it down. It's going down on its own. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's starting to drop. And when it's, all right, now here goes. I'm gonna pour this candy mixture right over here in this pan. Doesn't that look beautiful? That is just a picture of gorgeousness. Two hundred and thirty-eight. It's heading back up there very yeah. slowly. Well, I t you know, it'll it'll go, but it'll be a little on the slow side. But this brittle has a beautiful color to it today. Look at this, huh? Now I am going to. No, I'm not. It's too hot. I was going to put it in the refrigerator, but I don't think I will. I think I'll just let it set up right here, and I'll just fan it for a little while. While we're waiting, isn't that pretty? While we're waiting for me to go up to 238 degrees, which is the softball stage, and you want to be getting your wax paper ready because we'll be dropping them on wax papers. So we'll put that over here. Why don't we uh, review a few things and tell them where they can send for the recipe? All right, let's do stuff that. like that. Mr. Let's Johnson. see what the recipe is. For the black walnut brittle, we have a half cup light corn syrup, two cups of sugar, third of a cup of water, a quarter cup or a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of butter, a cup of broken black walnuts, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And that's the walnut brittle, and you get a whole lot of it for just a little bit. The sour cream candy, very, very simple. You start out with uh, half a cup of sour cream and you add two cups of brown sugar on top of the stove and stir that up and mix it up and take it to the softball stage. When it gets to 238 degrees, you pull it right off and then you add your two tablespoons of butter and your teaspoon of vanilla and a little bit of salt and then you're ready to start dropping it out on the wax paper. And it's very simple. Meanwhile, how's, back at the old pan. How's it going? Oh, uh, we're within two degrees of softball. We're ready to set down on the softball here. Well, we're not going to sit down on the softball, but you know what I mean. Well, that could be very uncomfortable. It could be right uncomfortable. Like Laban will say, you have to have patience with this stuff. You, th you think you just boil forever and ever and ever on this, but and you oh, have to look. watch very carefully. <laughs> what? Well, Lon, he has ruined our fine plastic chopping block well, has I put done that hot warped. stuff and it warped on me. Warped it all to pieces. Point. Now when I cut an onion it'll flip back up in my face. Yeah, that ain't the first thing that's been thrown up in your face. No. All right, we're within a couple of a couple of minutes here from the softball stage on this. And if you rush it, it will have the wrong consistency. It'll be get real gloppy and people will be losing their teeth and mm -hmm. all sorts of things. You remember that old woman on that first one? Mighty unhappy about it. On that first uh, batch that I had, wasn't uh -huh. quite right. And that woman, she's still trying to get her jaws apart. They had to send her off to the insensitive care unit of the hospital. It was just terrible. Okay, we're almost there, folks. I know you think it's okay. Yep. We have just hit softball stage. Take it off. Yo! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I do enjoy Ooh. other people's misery. Now, what you do is you add your two tablespoons at this point mm -hmm. of butter and a little bit of vanilla, teaspoon of vanilla. Oop. Looks like a little more than a teaspoon. It ought to be real tasty. And just a Ooh. little bit of salt. Boink. And mix that up now real good. Now what you have to do is you have to beat the stuff until it starts getting a little stiff. Because you don't want to... Uh, could you find me a regular spoon back there somewhere? Sure. We're going to have to beat the stuff now until it cools a little bit. 
and it starts setting up a little because you certainly don't want to put it out that gu gooey, all right? And believe me, it doesn't take very long to get it to that stage. And there's a very fine line between what is right and what is wrong on this because if you stir it too long, the whole thing will set up right in your pan and it'll embarrass you in front of all your friends. What you got to do is you got to set it up to where it's, it starts getting ropey. And when you do this, it starts making little, you know, things on top of the surface there. Oh boy. That's the best I can do. Well, that's, that's fine. It smells good. Mm -hmm. There's not an awful lot you can do wrong with its 90% sugar. Oh, I don't know. I bet you could find <laughs> something to mess up with it. Well, I've seen you ruin a couple, oh, too, I in know. your time. That looks exactly like the mud that was out in front of my office the other day. Yeah. I thought it looked a little like that ant that you had that came over one day. Oh. But anyway, we're continuing to cool this down a little. I'm sorry, this is cool as exciting it. as it gets at this point. Laban is waiting for his to set up on the pan. When can you get that out? Oh, it's going to be a little while. <laughs> <laughs> it, better, it better not be too much longer, uh, Laban. Time's fun when you're having, well, never mind. Having flies. Is that ready? Well, or? could we uh, could we have the uh, witch fly in well, while we're waiting see. on this? You got any, heard anything? Oh, the witch does have. Uh, She's here somewhere. Yeah. I know she was flying around up in the rafters a minute ago. Oh, there she Just is. Just about her. Oh, oh, well, look at this. Look at this. Oh, we have something to show the folks out oh, there. Oh, it's a postcard from the, from oh. the girls. It is a most unusual one, too. That's what that's one of the sisters. She said she's trying to call on this unusual telephone, and she keeps getting seeds in her ear. I don't well, know let's what see what she says. What she says. Oh, it's from both of them. Said, oh. dear boys, yeah? what fun we are having. Three days out, we were hijacked to Havana. <laughs> <laughs> Here are a couple of recipes you should try. Fidel sends his love. His beard is so bushy it tickles. Love, sis, and toots. Well, for goodness sakes, and they've included... This bird is indigenous to uh, Cuba, uh -huh. I've been told, in addition to uh, proving that we'll do anything for cheap laughs uh -huh. on this program, ladies and gentlemen. Let ah! me ask you, which one did you play, heckle or jekyll? <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, they have sent us two Cuban Yow! recipes, and we'll do this next week. One is ropas de viejas. Beg your pardon? Ropas de viejas. Oh, old clothes. Oh, oh that sounds great. I see. And this other one is called moras y cristianos. Well, this Moors is the and Christians. Mass. Oh my goodness! I have no idea what this is going to be like. You don't. Next week we'll be doing these Cuban recipes. Oh, all right. I'm starting to drop these. They're still not quite thick enough because they should stand up when you do this. But hey, I only got three minutes. Give me a That's break. That's right. And you know, well, we this, want you to see what this looks like at this least. This candy has. And <laughs> it is good enough that it will set up now, and it will harden very quickly. And hopefully a couple of minutes from right now, somebody will come along and stick their finger down here and it won't go into it. We hope not anyway, but we don't guarantee much of anything. You see that's starting to set up now. We just really needed about five more minutes on it. And they'll just pop right off of there too. And this brittle is coming along. Oh, look, Blair. It hasn't really got it hard enough to snap. Yes, it has right here on... Oh, wonderful. Mm. It looks beautiful. This needed just a few more minutes, but that's the way it goes. And here it is. You can see it'll all pull up. And when it gets colder, it'll snap. So here's our brittle. And here's our candies. And as soon as they, mm -hmm. as soon as they have a little well, opportunity. Oh, you want to you mm -hmm. just do that? Oh, all right. Here, try a piece of brittle. Just you don't crack right off. Oh, it does. Mmm. That is delicious. It really is. Mmm. Mm, it mm. really is. Well, how about your candy? Well, is it, it hasn't set up yet, so you can't try it. Well, I can try it off. Stick your finger in it. I'll try it off this because we don't want the lady that gets upset with the fingers. Who writes in every couple of times so we do something. Mmm. 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 
out of this world. Is it? It's and it is set up setting up. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, it's good. Well, I hope everybody will try it. Mmm, because it is so tasty. If you're a fan of Cookin' Cheap and would like copies of the recipes, make a $60 pledge of support to Blue Ridge PBS, and we'll say thank you with the new Cookin' Cheap cookbook. This hardcover three-ring binder is chocked full of over 930 recipes that were presented on the show by Laban and Larry. In addition, you'll also receive instructions on how to download a digital copy of the cookbook to use on your favorite device. Pledge for your cookbook now at blueridgepbs.org or by calling 866-624-8366. Thank you.